I've had a number of requests on my community discord to shine some more light on how damage reduction works for Warframes. After all, there are a lot of ways to get some form of reduction. Let's see how it's all calculated and just how far you can go theoretically. I'm the Engineer, let's solve a practical problem. Now you might expect the very first place to start would be armour, and you're almost right. However, there's one preceding layer of innate damage reduction. All Warframe shields have an innate 25% reduction to any incoming damage. This is universal, unrelated to any mods or other stats. So when calculating effective hit points, also known as EHP, this shield resistance should be considered too. Health doesn't have an innate damage reduction, instead it is derived from its armour. Warframe lists armour as a single value, where more is clearly better. If you mouse over your armour in the arsenal, it shows exactly how much damage reduction this gives. It only shows the reduction from the value when you open the modding screen, so close and reopen the modding screen to see the correct value after you've made any changes. The armour equation for damage reduction is armour value divided by 300 plus the armour value. So if you have 500 armour, the damage reduction is 500 divided by 800, which is 62.5%. That is to say, 62.5% of all damage to health will be blocked by that 500 armour. An easy way to measure the scaling is that every 300 points of armour means you block one additional damage for each hit point you lose. So 300 armour blocks one damage per hit point, 600 armour blocks two damage per hit point, 3000 armour blocks 10 damage per hit point, and so on. Notably, the 25% damage resistance on shields is exactly equivalent to having 100 armour, which is as low as it gets. Only the frames with the weakest health have just 100 armour, including frames which use shields to survive such as Mag and Vault, frames which hide from damage entirely like Ash and Loki, or frames with altogether different types of damage reduction like Mesa and Nyx. On the other hand, only Chroma, Grendel, Nidus, Atlas, Valkyr and Lavos, and their prime variants, have over 300 armour at base. Between innate shield resistance and armour reduction, we can start to calculate effective hit points. You take the base value of a hit point type and divide it by 1 minus the damage resistance. For shields, you'll take your shield stat and divide it by 1 minus 25%, which means we're dividing by 0.75. This will give you a value higher than the shield total, which is how much damage is actually needed to break your shields. For health, we'll do the health total divided by 1 minus the damage reduction from armour, whether that be as low as 25% on a frame like Ash, or more like the 83.7% on Lavos with a full Umbral mod set. With these totals, you simply add them together and you have your total effective hit points. That's how much damage you can take before you're bleeding out but not counting healing or shield gate and vulnerability. Other forms of damage reduction all multiply with these initial reductions we got going on, or in terms of the calculation, they all get divided in one by one. Take for example the mod Shock Absorbers. It gives 20% physical damage resistance. This applies to both health and shields. Adding this into the equation, for shields we do shield hit points, divided by 1 minus 25% from the innate shield resistance, and then divided again by 1 minus 20% from shock absorbers. Likewise for health, we do the health hit points, divided by 1 minus the armor reduction, and then again divided by 1 minus 20% from shock absorbers. Because the different sources of damage reduction are counted separately in their own divisors, we cannot become completely immune to damage without using something that is itself 100% effective. Lavos with his 83.7% damage reduction from armor doesn't jump to over 100% reduction to physical damage you see. Instead, the damage is reduced by a total of 87%. And this doesn't mean that Shock Absorbers is worse than it actually says though. You see, while the total damage reduction only went up by 3.3 percentage points for Lavos, that's only because so much damage was already being negated. Without Shock Absorbers, Lavos would still take 16.3% of every physical hit. With Shock Absorbers added on, he only takes 13% of every physical hit. As the mod promised, 
20% of the remaining damage has been taken away. That, in a nutshell, is how all different damage resistances stack. Each one takes away from the remaining damage left by the others that came before it. It doesn't matter which way around you calculate them, the result is all the same. The only real exception to this is in multiple sources of armour. They all pile into one armour total before damage resistance is calculated. For everything else though, just divide in each new source of reduction to get the final result. So let's explore this then and see just how many bits of damage reduction we can stack. I'm not going to look at anything which can achieve a total damage immunity, like Mesmer Skin or Rolling Guard, because that's a boring answer. Obviously someone immortal can tank infinite damage. But I'm curious, what's the limit of mortality? First, let's stack up some mods. Adaptation gives an increasing damage reduction against incoming damage the more you are hit by it. Adaptation only triggers one damage type resistance per hit, and that type is always the highest by proportion of the incoming hit. So if an enemy hits you with 90 impact and 10 puncture in one shot, you'll gain a stack of adaptation to impact on every hit, with puncture completely unaffected. For this min-maxing, let's assume adaptation ends up giving the maximum 90% resistance to whatever damage type we care to consider. There are also various single type resistance mods available too. Diamond Skin will protect you from radiation damage, Lightning Rod will protect from electricity, and Umbral Mods will protect from towel damage for example. For this maximisation, we're going to use Lightning Rod, as it gives the highest single bonus at 60% resistance to electricity. By selecting the right aura, we can get even more resistance. Aerodynamic gives 24% damage resistance while airborne. We can combine four of these auras on a full squad, although we can't use Coaction Drift as strangely enough in testing, it made me take increased damage in the air, not reduced. Speaking of aerial resistance, we can also use Aviator for 40% resistance and Agility Drift for another 12% resistance whilst we're in the air. Moving away from mods, we can equip all of this onto Mesa, who can activate a 95% damage reduction to ranged attacks. Both Mesa and Mesa Prime have pretty terrible armour, but 95% damage reduction beats out whatever any base Warframe can offer in the armour arena. We can also subsume Null Star from Nova for another 90% damage reduction if you max out your duration. But we can get even more abilities going by using our squad mates. With Agara in the squad, we can add a further 90% damage reduction from Splinter Storm. Get a Neja for 90% damage reduction from Safeguard Augmented Warding Halo. And then the fourth person can be Mirage, giving us a further 95% damage reduction from using Eclipse with its augment, so long as we're in total darkness. We can also stack on some additional benefits from Arcanes. Arcane Tanker will give us 1200 armour, and so will Arcane Ultimatum. This will bring Mesa Prime's armour up to 2525, for an 89.4% damage resistance on health. And to top it all off, you get 20% damage resistance whilst rolling by default. Our final damage resistance, bringing all of these bits together, comes out to 99.9999998%. Or in other words, 1 billion electric damage incoming would only actually deal 1.5 damage to health. For attacks which are substantially lower than 1 billion, which is pretty much all of them, this would actually round down to zero damage dealt. If instead you are fully solo Mesa Prime, not even using a Spectre, you would still be able to achieve an impressive 99.9993% damage resistance, losing just 7 health for every million electric damage received. Now this is taking things to an absurd level of course. A much more practical consideration would just be adaptation, which we can treat as an 80% resistance to account for unresisted smaller damage types. Added on with Shatter Shield and 1325 armour, by activating only Arcane Tanker. This would give a total damage resistance on health of 99.8% rounded. For Mesa Prime then, with a max vitality equipped, she would have an incredible 541,000 effective hit points in health, and a not insignificant 22,500 effective hit points in shields. Or you can just pick a frame that goes immortal. That works too. Now I did find a couple bugs in regards to resistance whilst investigating all of this. As I mentioned earlier, Coaction Drift does not appear to work with Aerodynamic and actually makes things worse than no aura at all. 
while on the other hand, Titania's Razorwing seems to get more damage reduction than she should. You may also find various sources, like the wiki, suggesting more complicated resistance stacking equations or limits, but I can tell you outright, those are now out of date. I've tested this extensively in the patch just before Nava was released. Alright then, I hope this has cleared up how damage reduction works in Warframe, for your Warframe. It is possible to be completely immune to damage in Warframe by stacking resistance buffs, but only by getting so absurdly tanky that the damage actually rounds down to zero. You can already see this effect happen if you equip Adaptation and then go to do the Lua Endurance test. The damage from the lasers there is so rapid and yet so small that the 10% damage left over actually rounds down to zero. But practically speaking for everything else, you can reduce damage a lot, but not quite to nothing. Not unless you're using a total 100% damage reduction. If you have found this video helpful, or learned something new, make sure to give it a like and subscribe as well to catch more as it goes live. That's all from me for now, so as always, stack tank, become god, and fight well, Tenno.